about 3 a.m. And ticket office opens around 8 a.m. We're gonna get our lift tickets and head up to the chair. chair yeah 2018 slash 19 wolf yeah. creek slash colorado 19, yeah. 2018 yes 2018 19 season good morning and, woo. what's going on here we going snowboarding all right what's the date what is the date 10 13 18 yes. opening day wolf creek 2018 2019 season. Here we go. Shocks then came back here at like 10 to 6. Where's it right here? Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Just can't wait, man. <laughs> I tell, I, we talked to Davey, the owner. He said it's like 30 inches of thank cream you, thank cheese you. up there. Like super good bacon. Yeah. Yeah. to move before that but that's when we <laughs> thank you for the tickets thanks for opening right on guys Boy on the outside wherever you want to be what you should do is take little man away from his parents and get a second chair <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. First ticket scan, second chair. So, Chad, you are entering into your 30th snowboarding season. You obviously have more experience than most. What have you seen stay consistent or changing in the snowboard world? Um, <laughs> that's a serious question. Consistent, um, you know, the lift lines have consistently grown over the years. Um, and changing. How much has changed? You know, people are here, are still here. People that aren't left. Right. You've probably seen a lot of snowboard companies come and go, or ski companies as well. True. Usually the snowboard companies that stay are the, the ones that are snowboarders, and the ones that go are the ones that are uh, interested in snowboard. Now, speaking of that, your roommate. Roommate Matt Peterson, along with Jeff Vaughn, JB, founded a snowboard company called Academy Snowboards. And he joined Academy in its infancy. 
What were those early years like? What were the boards like versus today? Um, the boards were way worse than they are today. Now they're good, better than ever. Shaking grease adds the water. Um, yeah. But they're, they were good back then. Now they're just way better. You know? They went left, right, and sometimes backwards. Oh, my! I love my board. It's amazing. So we're here at Wolf Creek. They often get 100 inches by Thanksgiving. Um, I don't see 100 inches today, but it looks like it's going to be decent conditions. Yep. No, it sounds like it's going to be a great time. Time of our lives. I got a text from Nate Dog right there. Oh, the king of first chair, Nate Dog. All right, yeah, we got it. This is uh, good information Official? right here. I don't know if you can read that. But, yeah. Be chill. Um, um, for a cat. What What's the word? <laughs> just jazzed up. What would you say would be one of Academy's proudest moments? Oh, our proudest moments is uh, when we uh, won the team challenge in uh, 2004 and 2005, I would think. You know, we got to go to Costa Rica. Was that in Aspen, Buttermilk? Or? Aspen, or no, is it Sierra Tahoe, the first one? Okay, yeah. No, not Sierra Tahoe, but uh, North Star, and then the second one was at, at, uh, at Snowmass, and then Snow. the third one is at Buttermilk, and that's when we lost, but we still rolled. Wow. Still know, crushed it. But, you know, dressed up as a mariachi band, and served everybody tequila, so just to make sure that they couldn't ride good. And then we, then we took them out. I recall, I did some filming there. Uh, we just happened to be doing the pin pin Cinco de Mullet theme and it fit well. Yep. Um, that was a great, great year, Cinco de Mullet, you know? So if I wanted to buy an Academy, how would a person buy an Academy snowboard? Uh, you'd go to your local retailer, snowboard shop in your town area, and uh, ask them if they have Academy. Now, if they don't, uh, Hit us up directly, All right. and uh, we will try to get one to the shop. If that doesn't work, then uh, some of our, our shops do sell online through their shops. So, uh, we do not sell direct. All right. What resort did you learn to snowboard? Um, first day of riding was Spirit Mountain, Spirit Mountain in Minnesota, and I got my snowboard stolen for like three hours, and then the dude who ever stole it brought it back. I got lucky there, but I kind of lost my mind. Yeah. All right. Anything else you'd like to say? Um, for this grand opening day. Um. Yeah. For sure. We're here for Nate Dog. That's why we're here. Nate Dog. Yeah. King of First Chair. We're here at Wolf Creek opening day for the 2018-2019 season. Today is Saturday, October 13th. What would you say? Can you describe your experience in your life between the last first chair that you got last season and this first chair? You've had some uh, life changes, I understand. Yeah, I got married. Congratulations. That's what I said. I got, I got the rubber on the, the finger. <laughs> Melina is an awesome lady. She can be entertaining at times. How many snowboards are in your vintage collection, approximately? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe a hundred's a round number that I like. Uh, this next question is one from one of your biggest fans that wrote in. What happened to your Bulls jacket? <laughs> my Bulls jacket is hanging in my closet waiting to make a revival. It, uh, I've had that coat for... 17 years uh, and I think the problem is is I've also put on a little of this in 17 years so it looks a little weird when I wear it but maybe that'll change what was the last time you performed a McTwist and would you consider doing your next McTwist in that infamous Bulls jacket uh, last McTwist was last season uh, and yeah I'll do it in Bulls jersey uh, I feel that if I do one McTwist a year, I stay young. The number one question you get asked about first chair is why do you do this? The number one answer is because it's fun. 
Well, would you say the number two question you get asked is how many G's or how many G's this year or how, how do you spell that? You know, when we first started this journey 23 years ago, um, people were like, oh, it's the second year. Is that making it five G's or six G's? And I was like, no, it's, it's not compound interest. It doesn't keep growing. Um, it's just always quad G, but I did have that nickname before the 4G network came out on Sprint and Verizon and all that fun stuff. 4G network. What resort did you learn to snowboard? Um, I learned to snowboard on Buck Hill, but technically it was on a golf course in my backyard first. But the first chairlift is at Buck Hill, Minnesota. Nice. Anything like you'd like to say to your first chair audience fan? Well, it's just another amazing day, amazing start of the season. It's going to be nice and warm here. And remember, don't get injured on the first day, because that's weak. All right, go Nate, dog. What am I doing here? Well, I came down with all these fellas, and I thought, hey, why not get first chair? Pump out some good stuff for Visit Colorado. Love it. <laughs> Is this your first first chair experience? This is my first first chair experience. One time I got second chair at Breck, so I felt pretty special. What resort did you learn to snowboard? I learned to snowboard at Eldora, actually. And the second time I ever snowboarded was hey, here uh, at Wolf Creek. And it was a crazy powder day, and it was not that fun because it, <laughs> I had no idea how to snowboard. But that was my first experience, and that had to have been like 12, to 15 years ago very cool but then i started skiing when i was four so i, I skied until i was minutes of greening. I think that's a wrap. I think that is. Let's see it for a sec. I'll turn it off. I'll get you doing whatever.
Oh, it's not that big.